What has been one of the hottest congressional races in our area is shaping up again. Stockton's mayor says that he is now running for Congress in District 9. He wants to replace Josh Harder. Tonight, our Becca Habegger is hearing from the candidates. Becca. Yeah, Alex, we now have three candidates who have declared they're running for California's 9th Congressional District. The incumbent, Democrat Josh Harder, was first elected to Congress in 2019. Republican Brett Dodd, a pastor from Ripon, and announcing today Stockton Mayor Kevin Lincoln, who is running as a Republican. Now, they are competing for votes in District 9. Redrawn due to 2020 census results, the district covers the majority of San Joaquin County, including Stockton, Tracy, and Manteca, plus parts of Contra Costa and Stanislaus counties. Now, tonight, we hear why Lincoln wants to challenge Harder and what Harder has to say about it. As mayor, uh, we're not partisan. Washington could take note of that. Kevin Lincoln, elected Stockton mayor in 2020, says he's ready to represent the Central Valley in Congress. For me, this is a call to service. It's no different from what decisions that I've made over my life to this point, whether it was signing up to volunteer to serve our country honorably in, in the United States Marine Corps, serving our community through a nonprofit organization, a local church, and stepping up in 2020 to serve our, our city as the mayor of Stockton. Incumbent Josh Harder was in an Appropriations Committee legislative markup session all day and was not available for an interview, but a spokesperson from his campaign told ABC 10, Kevin Lincoln has failed the city of Stockton plain and simple. He diverted money away from police and now the Stockton PD is short over 100 cops. Crime and homelessness have soared on his watch. Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's grip on power is clearly hanging by a thread and this proves he's getting more desperate by the day. We've been able to reduce homelessness in the city of Stockton by 3%. By the way, all national departments are experiencing these police shortages. As a council, we voted unanimously to support our public safety. We increased their wages over three years by 18%. We've authorized a strategic strategy for their recruiting efforts. And that's the type of leadership that this valley deserves. Voters first elected Josh Harder to Congress in 2018. He was representing the state's 10th congressional district at the time. He won re-election in 2020 and then following redistricting, he won the 9th congressional district, defeating Republican opponents each time. The California Secretary of State's office shows among registered voters in the 9th district, about 43% are Democrats and 28% are Republicans. A third candidate has declared his candidacy, Republican Brett Dode. I reached out to his campaign over the past two days requesting an interview or statement and did not hear back. With California's top two primary system, the top two vote getters on primary day, March 5th of 2024, will move on to the general election in November. Meanwhile, U.S. House Speaker and California Republican Kevin McCarthy is expected to attend a fundraiser for Kevin Lincoln's congressional campaign on Thursday. And what about the plans for the role of Stockton mayor? <laughs> That's an important role, too. Yes, Lincoln's current term ends after 2024. Now, if elected to Congress, he could go virtually seamlessly from mayor to Congress. But he is one of three people who have officially filed to run for Stockton mayor in 2024 along with Daniel Wright and Ernesto Gonzalez. But additionally, San Joaquin County Supervisor Tom Patty tells ABC 10 he's been asked to seriously consider running for Stockton mayor, saying he and Lincoln are in support of one another. Now, keep in mind, Patty challenged harder in the 2022 congressional race. Uh, he lost by nearly 10 percentage points back then. All right, Becca, thank you so much.